We humans have been bumbling and fumbling ever since we first fell out of the trees. Yet somehow, misstep after catastrophic misstep, we've managed to crawl to the top of the food chain of this beautiful world, despite our best efforts to try to destroy it. It's not really our fault. Well, it is our fault, but you can't expect much from a bunch of odd little hairless bipeds who figured out how to use a few tools. Now, with barely enough sense to avoid being eaten or impaled, we're doing a job we just weren't qualified to do. Being stewards of an entire planet. We don't have the skill set for that. Our brains aren't these evolved thinking machines constructed to make sage decisions for the betterment of future generations. They're more like a combination of gears and cogs bound together by dollar store duct tape. This hodgepodge of hacks and shortcuts allows us to survive just long enough to procreate with someone with an equally strange assortment of springs and cranks. So it should come as no surprise that throughout history, we've made some really colossal cock-ups. Some were well-intentioned. What could be the harm in letting a few rabbits go in Australia? Or a few starlings in Central Park to honor Shakespeare? It turns out more than you could possibly imagine. History is ripe with odd men doing strange things and being followed. Like Robert L. Burke, who aimed to be the first to trek across the vast and searing Australian outback. But the snooty Burke refused to accept food from natives, so his entire party starved to death. We've made some strange leadership choices. The town of Picosa, Ecuador, even elected a can of foot spray as mayor. But let's not tiptoe around it. Fungus spray may be better than some of the humans we've put in charge. Like Mao Zedong, who had it out for sparrows. So he mobilized every man, woman, and child to wage war against these winged little terrors. A billion birds later, he declared victory. But without any birds to eat them, insects had a field day. Literally. They devoured provinces of crops, contributing to a famine that killed nearly 30 million people. Based on the best-selling book by acclaimed author Tom Phillips, we explore some of the strangest and most critical lapses in judgment we've made throughout history. We examine the psychological reasons behind our foolishness and ask the question, where would civilization be if we made a different choice? You'll find the answers in the Doc series. Humanity's greatest f***.